Hey friends, welcome back. My name is Christine and I am actually not in my kitchen. I am in my daughter's kitchen and we are doing a few fun projects. I'm on vacation visiting and we are making bread. We are making mousse. We are making all kinds of different things. But today we are making some sweet potato crust. And you can utilize it so many different ways, but we are going to be utilizing it by making a sweet potato pizza, a people-pleasing pizza. So I just thought I'd show you what we're up to, so come on with. Okay, we're putting them in at 425 for roughly 30 minutes or until they're done. And that's going to be our sweet potato crust. Okay, we're just gonna get the sweet potatoes out of the toaster oven. They're nice and done. And then we're gonna move on to the next step. Okay, here we go. We're going to be making the crust right now. So we have our pan right here um, for with parchment paper on. And we're making a double batch. So we have two sweet potatoes and then we're gonna be doubling everything here. And then the oven is preheating at 425 and it's just kind of a, a fun little thing here so we're going to get the ingredients in so right now the recipe for a single calls for two tablespoons of cornstarch so we're actually going to be putting four two three and four okay there's that and then half a teaspoon of salt. And this is um, Himalayan sea salt. So there's one and two. And then right now my daughter is getting out the sweet potato that we baked earlier and we're hoping for one full cup of sweet potato. Mm -hmm. Two cups. Oh, sorry, two cups. One cup each. One cup each, okay. And then we're putting in two half teaspoons of oregano leaves and then garlic powder we're putting in Oops. and quarter teaspoon of that and we're doubling it so one and two and then whoops and then one full cup of is that what it is Check the recipe. I'm gonna grab a spoonful yes. cup. One full cup. Okay. And that's per pizza or total? Total. Okay. For the double batch. For the double batch, yeah. okay. Yes. So we're putting in one full cup of the oat flour, which we made ourselves. I think I have a video on that if you ever want to check that out. And we're just gonna put it right to the top. All right, there's that. We'll set that aside. Okay, and then we've got our two eggs. So, like I said, it's a double batch. There's one. And these are just large eggs, right? Yeah. Okay. Two. And how do we do? It should Close. be just done. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna get this mixed up first a little bit and then we're gonna add the mix. Okay, it's fun. We've made this one other time before, so I was looking forward to getting this recipe out to you guys. I just love it. My daughter is gluten free, so we always look for alternatives to making pizza. Instead of cauliflower crust, this is going to be a fun sweet potato crust. Mm -hmm. And then you can add whatever you like to it. I'm just going to get this mixed up. Okay. What do you think? Yeah. yeah. It's supposed to be mushy and soft, and it'll firm up once it starts baking. Great. All right, so let's get that over out of the way and I'm gonna take the spatula so we've got our parchment paper down and we're just gonna scoop it right out onto the tray 
boy. The paper's moving. <laughs> All right, and then we're just smooth it out, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. Make it flat bread shaped, mm -hmm. maybe, and as yeah. e even as you can, right? Whatever shape you want. Mm -hmm. We're using this pan, so. So right now, how long do we cook this then? Well, for 20 minutes to start, and then you'll, after 20 minutes, you'll flip the crust. Wow. And then put your toppings on. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Try not to get that corner so it's even. Okay, what do you think? Yeah, that's good. That's good. Okay. All right, I'm just going to be done. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna be done. All right, we're gonna get this in the oven. Okay, we're ready. I'm gonna stick it in for 20 minutes at 425. Okay, the 20 minutes is done, so we're gonna get this out. Um, timer off. There we go. And then we're actually gonna keep it Still at the 425. And put this out, and then we're going to flip it. Okay, we're just bringing it over right now. And my daughter just said the trick is to flip it out onto another pan and then put it back on the one that you're cooking on. Okay, we're gonna get this out of the way. And then now we are going to put our ingredients on it. So right now I've got some chicken, mushroom, cheese, and some sauce. We're gonna kind of keep it simple. This was chicken from last night's dinner. And let me grab a spoon. All right. And you can put whatever ingredients that you want on it. I'm not gonna make it too saucy. And then once we're done putting the ingredients that we want on it, we are going to put it back in the oven for between 10 and or between 15 and 20 minutes again at the 425 so I did not turn the oven off yet and then it will be ready so the other nice thing about this crust is you can actually make it ahead of time it freezes really well so might have to do that next time this is great all right so I feel like this is pretty good I'm gonna do a little bit of cheese first just for kind of that bottom layer. And this is just regular mozzarella. Not real heavy yet until the very top layer. And then we're actually gonna leave part of this just cheese uh, for the grandkids. Cause that's kind of what they like, you know how that goes. So maybe we'll do a little heavier on this one end. And then my daughter and I will eat the other part. That should be pretty good over there. Okay. And actually, I'll put some chicken on that end, too. Just kind of right on the edge. And these are chicken. This is chicken thighs. I made garlic honey chicken last night. Thought it turned out great. Okay. And you can add whatever protein you want or no protein, etc. I just love this. It looks great. All right, and then my daughter and I like mushrooms. So this was some mushrooms. 
that I cut up a little bit smaller chunks. Yeah, this looks really good. So I'd be interested what you guys like on your pizzas. And my daughter, like I said, is generally gluten-free. Just has reaction to it. She doesn't have necessarily celiac disease, but um, why take the chance? You know, you feel better. Oh, wow, this is looking great. All right, and then one more top of cheese on this side, and then I'm gonna pop it back in. Okay, this looks great. What do you think, enough cheese? <laughs> and I'm just gonna kinda maybe pat it down a little bit. All right, let's get this baby back in the oven. Okay, we're putting it in. I'm gonna watch it though. My daughter said like her oven runs a little bit hot, so I'm just gonna set the timer for 15 minutes or so. And timer. Oops, not that one, this one. So I'm gonna set it for the 15, and if it needs longer, we're gonna go 15. All right. Timer's on, so we'll check it in 15 minutes. Okay, timer off, and I'm gonna leave this on yet, and I am gonna check it. Oh my, this looks really good. The cheese end is definitely done. I might just do a little bit longer. I think I'm gonna flip it this way. And I'm just gonna do about five minutes more and see if I can get that cheese a little more melted. Okay, it is, it is definitely done now. Timer off, oh boy. Okay, and I'm going to turn it off. Clear off. All right, we're gonna let this cool just for a minute, and then we're gonna get it cut up and ready to go. Okay, friends, let's get taste testing. So I have to say, the one part that we did with just cheese, I probably would not have left it in quite as long, but the grandkids still ate it anyways. And then the other half for my daughter and myself, we did with chicken, mushrooms, olives, and then some seasonings, etc., cetera, um, and the cheese, of course. But if you like cauliflower crust pizzas, it's kind of along the same lines. You know, you just have to try to make sure and get it as even as possible because otherwise those ends do end up getting a little bit crunchy, but it tastes great and turned out wonderful. Definitely a gluten-free, people-pleasing uh, flatbread. So let me know what you think down in the comments. Try to make it as simple as possible. My daughter came up with the way to flip it over like that without making too much of a mess. And then making it ahead of time. That makes things, it makes life a lot easier when you do it that way. So, hope this helped you out. I'm hoping to do a few more gluten-free projects. Just to have some gluten-free bread in the background. We're giving that a test taste tonight. So, thanks for stopping by my little channel. And if you like videos like this, a little bit random here and there, but we're in a fun different location, I thought that would be fun to do. Thanks for stopping by, and I will see you next time on Christine's Routines. Take care, and God bless. kitchen and I just thought I'd show you we how am I gonna say this All right I'm just gonna keep going I'm just gonna keep going hey friends welcome back my name is Christine and okay I'm gonna be done all right we're gonna get this in the oven hang on yeah oh sorry no that's okay no nope, just wait